everyone. Mm, so delicious. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Street Feed. Jika is here straight from Istanbul, Turkey. I'm in the historical neighborhood of Balat. Let's go find some Turkish breakfast. Let's get to it. I've ordered some scrambled eggs. So this whole breakfast is about $17 plus this additional scrambled egg with some meat is about $8. I'm gonna start with scrambled egg and meat because it's super, super hot. That looks so bomb. Mmm, delicious. Salty meat. The meat is so flavorful, just like kebab. In collaboration with egg, meat, and this delicious spices. It's a full body flavor in my mouth, wow. Delicious. I want to try everything in here. Turkish breakfast looks amazing. Let's start with fried homemade dough. Mmm. It's like donuts without sugar. Dip it in olive oil, some spice, eat it this way. Incredible. I love that every bread here is toasted. Still feels kind of warm. Mmm. I'm gonna put that omelet on my bread. I'm also try it first. Nice and salty, still happily cooked, but the butter flavor is just so good. Some spices, some cheese, olive, pepper, sauce. Mm. So juicy. Every ingredient is so freshly made here. I do taste all of the love, the time they put into making these meals. Fantastic. Wow, interesting jam. It's like sweet, tastes like vegetable at the same time. I think it goes along all together with this platter and all these varieties of dippings. Turkey breakfast, 100 out of 100. I've had breakfast before, but I've never had one like this. Turkish breakfasts are mwah, so good, full of variety of different flavors. I just absolutely loved it. Right now, we're heading out to explore some of the Istanbul and find a place to have lunch. Right now in front of me, beautiful donut. Mmm, so good. Oh, let's try this nice fat piece of fries. Mmm, delish. The fries not too oily. I'm gonna make a wrap since I try each ingredient separately. Let's donate it. Mm, the rice is so delicious, so good. It was just the rice is so fluffy and so well cooked. Mmm, such a soft texture. Reminds me of a good, delicious breakfast burrito. So much happening on the street. It's a full entertainment. You can just order a meal, drink some Turkish tea, and just enjoy the outdoors, outside, people watching, people from all over the world. Like I've already recognized different places, different faces from everywhere. Istanbul is truly becoming the capital of the world. Kasap Osman Place has been open since 1964. It's one of the ancients, one of the old places here. They've been working every day, non-stop, serving people from all over the world. No wonder they're still popular, delicious. I give it 10 out of 10. Baklava burger, everyone. Ice cream is melting. Super excited to try it out. Sweetness on top of sweetness. And some Turkish tea. Mm. 
some cute little baby pastry next to it. It's time for some baklava burger. Ooh, the ice cream is melting. Let me just pick it up from the side. Ooh. The ice cream is so rich and very creamy. Let's try it out together. Wow, that's beautiful, crunchy pastry. I hope it's delicious as a combo all together. Let's give it a try. Bumbalicious, wow. Crusty, juicy pastry. Crusty on the top, juicy on the bottom. There's a burst of flavors of pistachio. Wild. I absolutely love it. Amazing dessert. I feel like ice cream gives it a good balance between the sweetness of baklava. Let's wash it down with some black Turkish tea. Mm, I'm gonna share this dessert between two people. The next, after some walking, looking for some dinner. Trying out with a simple coffee shop, some tea, coffee, and a little pastry. Let's check this place out. It's called Kovan Fitting. I got some three in one coffee and some cheese rolls, some beef roll, cheese layered pastry, and some Turkish pizza. Let's start with this cutie with some feta cheese inside. Mm. Nice and crunchy. What I really like about it is it's not fried, that it's baked. A bit dry, but it goes along well with some coffee or tea together. All right, this beef roll. Wow, so savory. I feel like there's some mushrooms in there, some peppers. Wow, that was quite delicious. And so soft and juicy from the inside. I really love this. That was really, really nice. Moving on to my most Favorite, I've ordered it for the first time when I was in Istanbul in the airport and I fell in love with this. This cheese, all of the layers of pastry they are so thin. I feel like it's all steamed together. So nice and crispy on the outside and very soft at the same time. Mm. Yummy, what else did I say? Turkish pizza. Mm. Memories from the childhood back. A lot of uh, Turkish businesses were opened in Central Asia back in 2000s and this is how I was introduced to Turkish pizza. So good, wow. This glaze is so crispy, I love it. I'm gonna explore some more of the city and look for the next spot. Let's get it. Pot meat goes in first or testy kebab, which is beef kebab in a clay pot that still is so hot. Wow. Now this dish is usually get served with a side of rice. Alright, I can see some cute mushrooms peeping out of this, some peppers, some green onions. Mm. The meat is so tender. All of these ingredients soaked up all of this sauce and is just the party of flavors. Let's try it together with the rice. Mm. That is deep, flavorful, very hearty dish. The meat is so soft in the mix with the veggies. Amazing, beautiful recipe. with some manti. These are pretty much boiled dumplings, similar to your Uzbek tuchvara, topped with some spicy sauce. Oh, well, let's start with this manti. Mm, delicious ground Turkish style meat. I love that these dumplings are so tiny that you don't have to open up your mouth up wide to give it a try. Mm. I just like the Turkish people add yogurts as their side dish or as a sauce. That is just amazing for your digestion system with all that heavy meat and carbs from that dough. Mm. I've been wanting to try some Turkish manti. I've had some in LA as well from local restaurant. Slightly spicy because of the sauce, but I really like it. I enjoy the spices. Mm, their spicy chili sauce is a little bit different because of their spice ratio. Pretty good. Well, that's it on today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe button, and 
Put it in the comments, let me know which dish I should try next and what country I should go visit. Thank you all so much. Much love to y'all. I'll see you in the next episode.